Hello, I'm Elizabeth and I am the Catholic Lady. I have to apologize. I uh, uh, neglected to get the readings out last Sunday. Um, I had a very distracted weekend with uh, several things going on and it slipped my mind. So I'm going to go ahead and do them today and then I'll, I'll post today's Mass readings separately. Okay, so this is the Mass readings for October the 16th. 29th Sunday in what we call ordinary time. The first reading is from Exodus chapter 17, 8 through 13. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Amalek came and waged war against Israel. Moses therefore said to Joshua, pick out certain men and tomorrow go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing on the top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle. After Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur, after Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur, as long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better of the fight. But when he let his hands down to rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired, and so they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady until sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, and the next is our psalm. It's from Psalm 121, multiple verses between 1 and 8. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He may not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not, may he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. That sounds like a prayer, so I want to say amen. <laughs> okay, the next reading is uh, the second reading, and it is from the second book of Timothy. We're continuing to chapter 3. This is 14 through uh, it actually goes to chapter 4, verse 2. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word, be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient, convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teachings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then the final reading is from the Gospel of Luke. This is chapter 18, 1 through 8. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Praise to you. Lord Jesus. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, 
There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so I again, I apologize for the delay, but I am continuing to make sure they're in order. So, um, uh, blessed be your day, and I'll be posting... Um, today, October the 23rd's readings shortly. God bless.